Hi everyone, this is Ada. Welcome back to my walk-in closet. Today I'm going to do a review on my beautiful Louis Vuitton No Way Girl. I'm not going to say she's my favourite bag because just about every bag of mine is my favourite, but she is one of my favourite summer bags. One, because I can just put her over my shoulder and go out casually or dress her up. Or that I love the colour. She is absolutely gorgeous. So I, I decided to do this because I'm going to change my bags probably today or tomorrow. But I thought I'll do the review because I like to have my bags for a while before I actually do a review. I don't like to do it after a week or two. So I like to have them for a couple of months. So I have got my receipt here and I was just going to have a look up when I bought it from the lovely Anton, my sales associate in the Brisbane store. When did I get her? Just got to look for a date. Do have a date on these? Oh yes, I got her June the 23rd, 2013. So we're now in April. So it's coming up to a year and I'll just read what she is. She is the Petite Noe NM Epi in the fuchsia colour. And I love her. And I'll just explain why I got her. At the time, I wanted a real, one of the classic bags from Louis Vuitton. And I looked at the Speedy and I looked at the Neverfull. And I wanted this bag because one, I like champagne. And two, the history of this bag just pushed me over the edge to buying it and it was a VIP day that I went so I decided I wanted a classic bag and I love the history that not this bag because this is the petite one but the other bag has the history of fitting the champagne bottles in it I think four go one way and the last one upside down so a champagne house asked Louis Vuitton to make it so I just love the history and I have a lot of people say to me oh I don't really like the look of Louis Vuitton I love the look but I also love the history and to me a company that has been around for that long and has made a bag for Coco Chanel and we're talking about the Elma bag and just the Keep All and the Neverfull and the Speedies and the No A's is just ooh la la for me because I've always been a history buff um, especially with fashion as far as fashion is concerned. So um, I just want to talk a bit about the bag before I show you what's in it because I want to show you what's in it just to show you what fits in because I did have a look um, at the larger bag and I'm really really happy I got this size because this size um, seems to fit my lifestyle. I am a big um, handbag girl but I just didn't like the proportions of the big one next to my body but I decided to get in the epi leather. Now, Antoine was telling me um, about the new style of epi leather because I do have another bag called the Brio Brea Girl. Now she's a very, um, more of a stiff epi leather, but this is so soft and moldable. I don't know if it's because it's the no way or it's just the new style of epi leather, but she is just so, like you can see how squishy she sort of is. And like I do, you just undo her and she's just so easy to sort of mold into the way you want her. So, and I love to just sort of stand up. I just love to put her over my shoulder. And I'm really not really fussy with my bags. I probably should be, but I just find this so, I don't know, you can just throw it on and off you go. And it just adds a pop of color to your outfit. That's the other thing I love it for. I did look at a few colors, but I decided on this one quite quick because it's sort of a red pink, I suppose, or a pink red. So it's looking probably more um, pink on the camera, but it is slightly more red than what it's showing up. So for me, it seems to go with a lot of my outfits. So let me just show you. Yeah, so like I say, this size was really big enough for me. I mean, it, it is quite large. I'll just show you what you can fit into it. Or I'll show you what I've got in it. So I have my sunglasses. I'm just gonna put everything there. My mobile phone, my my card holder, business card holder, my Chloe wallet, I mean that's a long wallet so there's got no problems fitting that in, my snack, my nuts, and my um, other little zippy 
wallet, I think you call them, because I was out on the weekend and I took that out just with some cash in because I didn't want to take my big wallet. So that's still in there because I'm a bit disorganised. I haven't taken that out yet. My diary, so that's only the small diary. I'm sure you could probably fit the, the medium sized one in there as well. A hairbrush. My coin purse or my key, I keep my keys in here zipped up so that my keys. My cosmetics pouch, just the smaller one. And I do have some scripts to go and get something from the chemist so they're in the pocket so that's all there is turn it upside down and it does have huh, so that's how large it is and it does have that bit here like I sometimes put my keys in there but I actually had my um, scripts from the chemist to go in there so they weren't getting all um, battered in my bag basically so and it has that beautiful lining on it or feel it feels I don't know what they call it but it's just so luxurious so yeah it's quite you know there's not nothing much well there's no d-ring or anything oh no there is a d I lie there is a d-ring which I don't use so it even has the d-ring I don't tend to use them I probably should so yeah so it's just like a big bag with one zip part here for your keys or your if you've got a smaller wallet I'm sure you could keep those in there and the d-ring and like I said very very um, easy or scrunchy sort of to use I shouldn't say scrunchy I suppose but just very moldable or pliable and you can adjust the strap I have got it on probably the third hole so you could go a bit longer if you want um, I'm five foot seven and a half something like that five foot seven five foot eight uh, so yes that is the no a bag and I love her um, I'll just tell I don't mind telling people the price I mean this is last year's price but I do really think she's been worth it and I'm so glad for the petite one no a did I pay I paid I don't know 1590 so 16 you might as well say which has probably gone up to the 16 or 17 now I'm not too sure but she is worth it and I always judge my bags on would I buy it again and yes I would buy her again so thanks everyone um, if you want to know any more about her I know she's gorgeous just um, leave me a message and I'll let you know but yes thanks everyone for listening to my review see you again next time and don't forget Ada loves style and her handbags. Bye. Don't forget everyone, Ada loves style.